We have designed this application for the people who are unable to speak. Hi. Hello. Wow, did you hear that? Well, that's the application I made. And by the end of today's video, we're going to be learning how to code this application. So, uh, this is my home desk where I code most of the things. And you'll get a screen like this. And you can see on the right hand side here, you can see that there are two interfaces. The designer interface and the block interface. In the designer interface, we're going to be coding the user interface, which are the icons which you can touch. And in the blocks interface, we're going to be coding the program which is run for the icons. So let's start. So first, let's go to the user interface here. And we're going to drag and drop a text box there. And then we're going to drag and drop a button. And then we're going to rename it as speak. And then we're going to go to media. And we're going to drag and drop text to speech and this is not going to be shown on the mobile screen as it is a non-visible component so it will be visible under the mobile screen. So we're done with the designer interface so now let's move on to the blocks. So here in the block we're going to be coding the program which is used to run the application. So first we're going to go to speak and we're going to drag and drop this. So when speak dot click do. So this is the event handler. And next we're going to go to text to speech one. We're going to drag and drop this one. Call text to speech one dot speak message. This is going to be the procedure. And we're going to go to text box. And we're going to drag and drop this one. Which is text box one dot text. This is going to be the output or the icon present on the mobile screen. So we're done. We're done with the application. So to end it off, we have to go to build and we have to download the application. So there are two options here. You can either provide a QR code for the APK file or you can save the APK file to the computer. So when you're using the QR code, you can take your mobile screen and then you can scan a code which appears on the computer. Or if you want to use the second option where you can save the APK file to your computer, you can save it, you can download it in your computer and then you can transfer it to your phone using a USB cable. So after we're done doing all those, we can do the applications done. It will be installed here. So we can type anything like um, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So we can type various things. So we have designed this application for the people who are unable to speak so that they can communicate with other people without having any difficulties and being teased around in places. So Do you want to have a quick peek into our QTLearn classrooms? Here's your chance. Register now only for Rs. 99 and see how coding can be so much fun.